Hello everyone, this is Chris with Sticker Fab. Uh, sorry, I've been busy uh, lately. Uh, a lot, actually. You guys have been sending us so many orders that we're getting anywhere between 80 to 100 orders a day. So when you request new products, they usually assign it to me and I haven't been able to get around to those. So if you haven't had a response, sorry about that. Uh, we are still taking all those into consideration. Um, but here's one uh, that I had to give a little attention to because we've gotten so many requests for it. It's gonna be the uh, roll bar protection uh, for the, the soft top guys because these Ford Broncos were released and uh, if you don't put the top down like perfectly straight, the arms can kind of scrape the paint. And actually we have had that happen to our vehicle. First, I'm gonna show you how to get this top down. I actually haven't done it uh, in a while, but all right, let's open this door. Uh, let's reach in here. There's a couple clips. Let me make sure this is still filming because if I go through the whole thing and it's not, it'll be a lot of wasted time. Okay, so let's see here. Pull the back door open. I've really not done this in a long time. So we're going to pull this forward. So you have to have the rear door open to get that to happen. I'll pull this guy out of here, this little channel. You can see this little plastic right there. All right, so now we've got this. Uh, slide it all the way forward. It might hang up on this guy a little. As you can see, there's this bar, and once it comes into contact with this, you might have to just pull it out a little. I'm going to set this down. And then you can peel this back a little bit. Well, let's look up in here. Undo this. Undo the clips on the top. Wish I had gone through a car wash before doing this, but it was not planned. So we got all those clips out. Just finagle that. There's just little I'm kind of twisting it out like that. You can see where this kind of resides in those channels. Locks under here. this into there. All right, now we got to do it for the other side. So it's basically the same process. So let me get that done and I'll start this recording again. So now for the back soft window. Let me get it out of this groove. So I definitely unclip the bottom and then slide the, the top back and kind of fold that up. I'm going to slide it off this back channel. So now we have this area opened up and you can see these bars when they come down, they wind up coming in contact here. We do have paint damage. I put these pieces up in here uh, to kind of protect it. I'll show you what those look like, but we're going to do just kind of like a little L uh, going down. Um, we're going to replace those. So let me go inside the, the front of the cabin, uh, the passenger driver's seat area, pull those buckles down and start pushing it back. So the first step is just pushing it back to that position, which you can do, of course, with the windows installed. I'm going to take my sandals off and just stand on the back seat. 
a lot of people like doing it this way because we can push it straight back if you try to muscle it up one side or the other that's when the whole frame kind of torques and tweaks itself and then you get scraping the bars so there's these release handles on the side it says press on them and they're connected both sides by this cable so when you pull one side it's going to pull the other so now i'm trying to guide this down straight so same amount of force both sides just kind of look where you're going both sides straight down Now it can lock into this down position. See, lock. Now the other side, locked as well. Now that's what you want to have it. Uh, that's the position you want it uh, when you're driving around, making sure it's locked all the way down. So we're gonna take this off. We're gonna make our template and then Last part, I'm going to show you how to install it. Here, let me document the extent of the damage that we had. Um, honestly, I don't know where this came from because the first time I put it down, it had this much damage. I don't think it came from us, so I don't know if the dealership, this being one of the first ones they got, attempted to put it down. But you can see these gashes that we have right there. And on the other side, I forgot how bad they were until I took that vinyl off that we already had. So just FYI, in case you guys don't have any damage, this is kind of what everyone's talking about and this is why we're doing this. Um, the one that I'm gonna install is the 3D carbon uh, version. So I'm probably gonna take a strip from here and we're gonna try to go down to there. So there to there. Um, Just checking out the clearance, but yep, that's about where we're gonna try to go. So let me make get that template made. <laughs> okay, so it took me a little bit to get back around uh, to this template, and I actually had to do it twice. Uh, I've been getting pretty good at making these like a first time go with the templates, but I had to readjust this so it looked right and it covered the right areas. To install this all the way down deep in here, we're going to have to release the top. The release handle, again, is on the driver's side. We're going to push down. It's going to unlock both latches. I'm going to grab that handle right here, pull it up. Now, I can't just pull this up like this. And if you've put the top up and down, you know that. So I'm going to lift vertically. And this latch is caught again. So I'm not going to tweak it. I'm going to go ahead and press that. Pull right here, pull vertically. You can hear both latches unlock. Pull straight, make sure you're not tweaking it one way or the other. We'll pull the top down a little. And get it in this vertical position, making sure it's stable. And then we can get our vinyl, get all of our things that we need, like the um, de quick detailer, the microfiber, uh, etc and start our installation all right you guys i'm just trying to finish out the week the camera stopped recording like a few seconds into my installation so here's the fully installed vinyl what we did to get that was we used our microfiber cloth speed wipe doesn't have any wax in it just cleans that surface we don't want to add another layer or something in between the vinyl and our vehicle um, I've got my vinyl. The way you can tell uh, which side is which is because of this like semicircle right here, this quarter circle. Um, and we want to keep that gap similar uh, in distance all the way through that corner. Okay, I have a squeegee 
Uh, these are on our website. They also come in like the lower door protection, the hood, some of the bigger ones. What else do I have? Oh, squirt bottle, squirt bottle. Here it is. Our squirt bottle. About $2 on our website. I fill it up all the way to here and then a few drops of dish soap. I accidentally had way too much dish soap on this one because I was trying to squirt out a few drops and when I let go of the bottle, it just, it all poured in there. So I just poured more run water in there, tried to dilute it a little bit. Um, you want it to break the initial uh, adhesive so that you can slide everything around, but then you want it to dry up. And if you have too much soap in that there, uh, it gets hard to get that soap out and to get it to stick again. So you want to find that, that nice balance between the two. All right, let's go ahead and rip this guy back off. Uh, it's been on here like five minutes, just long enough for me to run to the other side of the house and grab a new vinyl. So there we go. There's that huge gash again. Still a little wet on the back side. Okay, let's try this again. Let me check the camera. All right, two minutes in, still going. Oh, uh, it's not too breezy, but I'm still going to peel back the vinyl just a little bit because it is a big piece. And I'm going to spray it a little. Pull it down about halfway. Spray it a little. Now it's just getting too big, so I'm going to grab it, take it off, throw my backing paper away, and spray the rest of it. I'm gonna put my squeegee in my pocket. I'm gonna route this end through the back, making sure that the vinyl doesn't touch anything that hasn't been cleaned yet, or really anything in general. The same thing you're gonna be doing with the clear. I thought installing the 3D carbon would give you better visual representation of the installation and also cover uh, these gashes that I have here. So, install that in pretty much the same place that it was before. Doing a very loose installation right now. Making sure the angle's correct. There's this ridge on the bar. Just go push down right on that ridge if I can do that and get everything aligned, that'll at least hold it in place as so. Three minutes, 50 seconds in. Okay, still going. It's good. Um, if you're happy with that alignment, go ahead, start pushing from that ridge upwards. If you meet an area that looks like it's going to crease, be careful, ride that ridge, push it straight back. Make sure it doesn't bunch up. This is what I like about 3D Carbon. It's very, very forgiving when it comes to installations. You can kind of just massage it and then stretch it. That's why you'll see my finger like roll over the vinyl and onto the paint behind it. I'm just stretch it back there. Don't go from side to side because it'll just bunch up all the vinyl. Just stretch it over the back. You gotta be quiet. My dog hears me and I hear her barking inside. Now I could also use my squeegee. I'm gonna leave this corner alone. I'll show you why in a minute. Sometimes you'll have to pull up just a little bit and push the vinyl back down so it doesn't bunch up. Because this isn't as flat as it might seem. You know, there's this ridge going through the middle of it. And then I don't, I'm not sure if it actually moves back or forth or if it actually per goes perfectly straight down. Either way, you have surfaces that are 
at different angles. Kind of bunching right there. Just pull that end up. This soapy water allows me to do that. Okay, so I can get my squeegee out too. Make sure no bubbles are stuck in here. Squeegee allows you to put pressure over a wider area and you can put more pressure down because all the pressure is on this one uh, edge. I'm using a felt tip squeegee because I don't like to damage vinyl, even though this is very forgiving material. Um, then I'm gonna go back go right in the middle and do the same thing but on the bottom side. And now I've covered up most of my my gash. I don't think many people have gashes on the bottom. That was that was unexpected. And I'm not sure who put it there. I don't think it was me. I think it was before me. Can't blame it on anyone else. In my family at least. Looks like it kind of wants to bunch up, so I'm going to stretch that material over the edge. Make sure we're still recording. Eight minutes, 20 seconds, 27 seconds in. Okay, now I have uh, the area towards the front it seems to pull up a lot of water. Sometimes it's hard to get down. Should have talked about this earlier in the video. It's probably 70 some degrees right now in North Fort Myers. I don't know why you guys are up north. You try to install these either in outdoors or heated garages, but you're not gonna get as warm as I am right now. Those are the times where you need to get everything nice and warm. Uh, vinyl becomes brittle. It just handles a lot different when it's too cold, I guess. The same can be said when it's too warm. Uh, if it was like higher than 80 degrees, um, being in this direct sunlight, even though it's the evening, um, it would really be easy to stretch the vinyl. It gets really soft really quickly. So if it's so really hot where you are, keep it in the shade. If it's really cold where you are, keep it warm. So the reason why I usually leave this last corner open is so I can push everything into it and then just kind of stretch that corner out. And all that extra vinyl will go right into that corner. So there we have it. I'm gonna push this down again. You can also climb on top of your Bronco and look at this ridge going down. Make sure that's down 100%. You know, let this bake in the sun. Come out, push it down again before you put that top back on to make sure that insulation is uh, nice and, well, semi-permanent because you can always peel this off if you need to. 
but you want it to be your choice when you take it off. You don't want it to catch wind or anything else and just come off on its own. Don't immediately take it on a top-down ride if you are worried about it coming off. Just give it some time, let it bake onto there. Let me take this off the sand and I'll give you a view of both sides. All right, so that's what you're working with if you have the top all the way down. Quick look at the other side. So there you have it. That is the 3D carbon fiber material. For me, that's gonna work best. It goes with some of my other stuff and it covers up the scratches that are already there. This has a weird little design to it. So I feel like it, it flows for the most part. Um, what you wanna do uh, to clean those is use 303 Aerospace uh, Cleaner Protectant. Uh, it works really well. Use it uh, when I had a, uh, an RV, use it on my boat. Um, just does a, a good job of keeping that material uh, nice and clean and it'll make it a little bit shinier than it is right now. This is what it looks like from behind. Not too shabby, not too shabby for vinyl. All right, so thank you guys so much for uh, requesting all these products. Make me aware of uh, what you guys want and need. We've been really busy. Like I said, tons of orders. Uh, we're really trying to focus on getting those out to you guys in a timely manner. So you'll see easy uh, vinyls be put up um, like the different variants of what you've already seen before. Um, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, and hit that bell notification icon for the latest and greatest things coming for the 2021-2022 Ford Bronco. Thank you.